Okay, hello YouTube new subscribers. Uh, I guess I'm going to bring a second video today, and that video is going to be on Aquascape. So now your Aquascape consists of pretty much everything in your tank, uh, not including the fish. You could say the plants are part of the Aquascape since they are immobile, even though they're not necessarily set once you put them in there, since they can grow in different patterns. And now the importance of Aquascape is that your uh, fish tank is supposed to do a few things. It's supposed to be aesthetically appealing to you. It's supposed to be aesthetically appealing to anyone else who views it. But most importantly, it's supposed to be a comfortable place for your fish. Now, um, to make sure the tank is a comfortable place for your fish, there are generally a few things you should avoid. I say you should avoid uh, sharp decor. Uh, you should avoid brightly covered gravel. Uh, you should avoid um, stuff that alters your water chemistry too much. So for example, generally speaking, you should not avoid, you should not have large amounts of limestone in your tank. And um, when you're doing your aquascape, you should make sure that there's a central point. For example, in this tank, the focus is mainly on this area right here. And this part right here looks kind of intricate because it's a root that is kind of spread out. And I have this plant here in the center because that plant has a brighter color than the hygrophila plants in the back. And now the reason why doing your aquascape in a good manner is important is because fish, they, they kind of, no matter what type of fish you have, they always kind of familiarize themselves with the environment. So by having a good aquascape, the environment should be able to stimulate your fish. For example, if a fish is in a tank, like just say a bear tank, often you see fish just swimming back and forth like this. They swim back and forth. It's because there's nothing in the tank to stimulate them. So when you have a good aquascape, the intricacies that you introduce to the tank by having a good aquascape add to more interesting behavior in your fish. For example, you'll see your fish swimming through different regions of a tank. More often, they will set up territories. They will sometimes, for example, cichlids, for example, even inspect different parts of the tank. So with your aquascape, it always has to, you have to remember to make sure that your gravel is appropriate for fish, your uh, wood or your sculptures or whatever you want else in there is also appropriate for them, as well as that the plants are appropriate. So one thing to remember is that you have to have a good aquascape and that causes good fish behavior because poor aquascape usually leads to um, stereotypical behavior which is just unusual fish behavior. So um, that's my quick video on aquascape. So thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe.